what is up you guys this is your girl Contina coming to you today with a brand new video as you can tell by the title I am bringing to you another episode of what I wore in a week and if this sounds like something you're interested in you certainly want to keep on watching and thank you so much to all of my subscribers who keep coming back each week rocking with your girl you are a real one and if you're new all I ask that you do go ahead hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that way you never miss a video over here on this channel i do all things fashion beauty lifestyle a little bit of thrifting here and there so if this sounds like something you're interested in you certainly want to keep on watching okay guys so welcome back we're going to go ahead and get right into it starting with what i wore on sunday on sunday i did go out to church and again anytime i get dressed you guys my goal is to be comfortable so on this particular sunday i pretty much pulled out my pink loose fit style joggers along with a pink and brown graphic type tee that I did get from H&M. And also I pulled out my trusty beige thrifted oversized men blazer um, that I did thrift. And also I added my pink bag, a pink hat, along with my beige mesh heels, uh, heels that are kind of giving you like that Bottega style dupe. I thought this look was really cute, you guys. It was really perfect for fall it was just giving you girly it was casual it was sophisticated the hat the hat definitely did top it off so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how this look did come together again you could swap out any of these colors but you could pretty much use the same style elements that i did with joggers heels t-shirt and a blazer would definitely create a really cute look you could wear either you could either wear it dressed up dressed down with heels without heels i just thought this made for a really cute fall type look especially with the two color combinations together the look did really turn out really well so go ahead and take a look at that look don't forget to drop down in the comment guys and let me know how you think about this look and let's go ahead and see what i wore on monday okay guys so let's go ahead and get into what i wore on monday now on Monday, because I was coming off a Sunday, kind of feeling the blazer type vibe, so I did want to try to stick with that particular style element. So I pulled out some navy blue, kind of like, it's giving you kind of like legging styles, but they are cotton stretch fabric type pants with the line down the middle. I also did thrift those pants. I can't remember what brand they were, but they are made out of some really, really good material. I also threw on a long sleeve mock neck, uh, split um, hem type um, shirt along with a multi print style blazer that pretty much pulled from the navy blue pants pulled from the beige in the top it pretty much was definitely accented with a lot of really really nice colors and I also added in my um, beige high top sneakers I did get from Shein and also I added in my leopard print socks to kind of contrast off of the jacket um to kind of just kind of break up the look a little bit just to give it a little bit more contrast to create a really cute look i also did include with this look my i think it's like a hunter green type woven style chain bag that i did get from she in i thought this look really came together really good i can definitely remember walking into work and someone like oh i love this look it was so cute but again you guys you could definitely pick off these same style elements, get maybe like a navy blue pair of pants, a, a pop of color or a beige color to try to pick off whatever colors that may be in a printed or multi-print style blazer that you may have in the home. And kind of always throw in some type of accent like I did with the leopard print socks. I thought this was a really cute, casual, comfortable, business casual type look, perfect for work perfect for out with your girls, perfect for brunch, perfect for a day date, perfect for fall. So this was a really, really cute look, you guys. So let's go ahead and see what I wore on Tuesday. Okay, guys, so let's get into what I wore on Tuesday. So on Tuesday, I decided to pull out my oversized, uh, it's kind of like a ombre type uh, fabric. It's actually denim, but it's giving you like an ombre type effect because it has like the light denim and then it has the deeper or dark color denim on one side. And I also pulled out my midi style denim skirt. Um, I did get that skirt from Burlington probably about three years ago. And I paired it with that men's style shirt. It's oversized, 
it, I ruched, ruched up the sleeves and I actually threw on my neon green wedge um, type shoes along with a green bag and also the green trucker hat. Of course, because I was going into the office, I did not wear the hat into the office, but I did definitely think that this was a really cute look. The denim definitely did kind of tone down the lime green a little bit, but I thought this made for a perfect uh, look. Again, if you're not a neon type girl or not really into color, you can always swap out the neon green with your favorite style shoes, whether they're flat, slides, wedges, um, heels. But again, just put denim and denim on top of each other is always a look. Definitely a fall staple, and I think this look came together really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys take a look at it. Don't forget, let me know what you guys think down in the comments about what I wore on Tuesday. So let's go ahead, you guys, and see what I wore on Wednesday. Keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so on Wednesday, I decided to pull out my thrifted two-piece suit in the color red, of course. And remember, colors are definitely trending this fall. So I wanted to wear my two-piece red suit. I did also, with that red suit, pull out my white muscle tee, kind of giving you that Frankie Shop type dupe. Um, those t-shirts are definitely popular and still in. Um, so I also with that accented with a gold chain belt. I also added in my red Saint Laurent dupe style looking type bag. And also I threw in some platform type sneakers with the red and white stripe and kind of giving you like a orient oriental type art work on that shoe. I thought this look made for a really, really cute look. It was perfect for work. I could do the, throw the jacket on when I get cold. If I get too, too warm, take the jacket off. So this look was really, really cute. I think it came together really well. Again, I had on some gold jewelry, accented the whole look with the gold jewelry, the gold chain belt around the waist with my shirt tucked in. This look was really nice, perfect for work, business casual, perfect for if you're going to happy hour after work. The shoes definitely elevated the look a whole lot. This look was definitely business casual, giving you comfortable. I really thought this was a really, really cute look, perfect for fall. Again, if you're not a color girl, you can always take any two-piece suit, add a t-shirt, add on some sneakers and your favorite handbag, and you will be good to go. So let's go ahead, you guys, and see what I wore on Thursday. Keep on watching. Okay, guys, so let's talk about what I wore on Thursday. And again, because I was off on Thursday, your girl definitely was keeping it really, really casual. I had to run out, do a few errands, do a little bit of grocery shopping. So what I did was on this particular day, because I didn't want to spend too much time on my hair, I pulled out a blue, like kind of like giving you like a baby blue, navy blue, and a yellow scarf that I did purchase from Shein probably about two years ago. I threw on a white t-shirt and my baby blue cut off quilted or knitted or cotton type style or jersey knit type, um, type shorts that I did get from H&M probably about two years ago and a yellow handbag to kind of pick off the scarf or the color that was in the scarf that I tied on my head. And also I threw on my beige uh, tight slide. So I definitely wanted to be comfortable and also not only that, be stylish as well. So I thought this look was really comfortable. It was casual, it was cute. It was perfect for fall because again, if I needed to, I could have just threw on a sweater or a cardigan or a jacket. But again, because I live in South Florida, fall to us is still summertime. So the weather is still like in the eighties or nineties. So that look was definitely perfect for running errands, picking up your kids from school, going grocery shopping, even a day day or out to lunch. So I thought my Thursday look was definitely cute and perfect and casual. So let's go ahead, you guys, and see what I wore on Friday. Okay, guys, so back to work I go. So what I wore on Friday. So on Friday, again, we get the opportunity to wear denim. But instead of wearing denim, I did decide to throw on some beige plaid printed type um, slacks that I did get from H&M. I also threw on a graphic tee that did include colors like orange, green, white so it was a really really cute graphic tee and also for accessories i did add my beige light beige baker board hat along with a kelly green handbag i threw on some leopard print socks as you guys could tell those socks i have a few pair of a few pair of leopard print socks i love to throw on my leopard print socks as an accent they definitely work as a neutral for me 
So I like to throw in those socks to contrast any type of color or print that I may be wearing um, for that day. And I also threw on my dad sneakers or my Balenciaga sneakers. I thought this made for a really cute, casual, comfortable look. Perfect for Friday at work. You know, the whole goal is when I do get dressed, I like to be comfortable. So I thought this made for a really, really cute look. So I had on my, my graphic tee, my plaid pants, the leopard print socks, definitely contrasting off that plaid with the brown. So the browns and the leopard print contrasting against the brown and the plaid uh, print on the pants. And then accented, pulled out a color from the t-shirt, which was the Kelly green with my Kelly green bag, my dad's sneakers. So I thought this made for a really cute casual look for Friday. Let me know down in the comments, you guys, if you are rocking with this look, make sure um, if you are rocking with this look, drop a heart down in the comments for your girl. Let your girl know if you are rocking with this look. So let's go ahead, you guys, and see what I wore on Saturday. Keep on watching. Okay, guys, so on Saturday, your girl was kind of in a dilemma. I was trying to pretty much figure out between wearing my long line black and white cardigan that's giving you kind of like a Chanel vibe or my kind of like orange brown kind of giving you fall vibes um it had picks of orange burnt orange brown white and black so i actually on this particular look had on my cut off denim levi shorts that i did thrift i pulled out my black chelsea boots i also added in a orange bag for a splash of color to pick off of the orange cardigan I'm actually gonna show you guys two looks and I'm gonna let you know the one I did decide to go with at the end of the day. So you'll be seeing pictures with the orange cardigan, with the black top, my black cut off denim shorts, and some tights that had kind of, tights that were giving you kind of like a distressed type look. And I threw on my Chelsea boots and that orange handbag. And then on the other hand, what I did wind up wearing um, was the long line black cardigan, black and white cardigan, giving you Chanel vibes. I had on a black top, along with my black cutoff shorts, still the distress type tights, my Chelsea boots in black, and I had my black fanny pack. So I pretty much kept that with me all day. So I'm gonna show you guys the two different looks um, that I did kind of go back and forth about, but ultimately I did wind up wearing the a uh, long line black cardigan because it felt most comfortable and I felt that it kind of looked good. The other one did picture well. So I did take pictures and po post pictures for both on Instagram and on my Facebook. So again, you guys, this pretty much wraps up what I wore in a week starting from Sunday through Saturday. So if you guys are pretty much rocking with this video, definitely let me know down in the comments. If you have any ideas or things you want to see, let me know about that as well. I had so much fun, you guys, putting this video together. I definitely don't mind sharing my style inspiration on realistic, everyday ideas, things that I actually get up and put together and wear to work on a regular basis. So thank you guys so much. And if you have not done so already, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that way you never miss a video. Don't forget to thumbs up the video also that lets YouTube know that there's a new YouTube over here which allows them to recommend and push out my video to people who love style, fashion, beauty, lifestyle, thrifting just like you. And thank you guys so much. See you next week. Bye.